Well guys, um, so uh, I think last day of video you saw that the 125 wasn't working. Um, and yeah, so anyways, we got the stair fixed. But um, guess what happened? I traded it for this. This is an O2 YZ250F, four stroke liquid cooled. Um, so yeah, this is a really clean bike. Um, it recently got a rebuild on it. It had a, like a recent rebuild. I think I had like five hours on the end, on the top end, you can tell. Um, Cause this part, you know, top end part is cleaner than that part. Um, besides that, uh, yeah, it's great. Also, this is a pretty cool design. I went, I like this design. Um, the oil sticks right here, so it can get easier to get to. On the older ones, I think it's like 01, 05. They're over here, so I kind of like it here. So that's why I chose it. Um, yeah, it's a really great bike. I love it. Um, I just preferred the four stroke. I'm glad I got the two stroke. You know how it felt and road. Um, I just prefer the four strike handling, uh, low maintenance and just reliability. It's just, that's what I prefer. Mostly the handling, the smooth handling I like. I like the power band, but once you get on like a four stroke 250, you know, it's, it's just, you, well, once you get on a four stroke, you know, 250, um, or a 450, whatever, you know, or I'll just say in general 250 these things have a ton of power like they have a crazy amount of of power um if you guys watch 3D Machines he explained that like I think he has a KC50F um most people who have a 250 they never get close to the bike's full power like they rarely get to the bike's full power these things the 250s have a ton of power um for you know four stroke um obviously so anyways so i just like how um four stroke handled um and the other reasons i explained um but mostly the handling so yeah it's an o2 um yg250f i got it yesterday it's got i'll just do some like minor upgrade it's got ufo plastics um, fork guards, let's see, it's got, it's got fork guards, fork guards, front fender, stock, um, I might, so basically what I'm gonna do with this bike is that, you know, since this is like a big bike and has a ton of power, you know, I'm gonna have this for definitely a long time, like I don't really need a, a, uh, 450, um, TC50s, they have a ton of power, and for the riding that I do and everything, you don't really need a 450. 250s, they have a ton of power. Even they can have a ton of power for, you know, what I do, but I just wanted to get a four-stroke big bike, so. Um, turn to, oh yeah, all right. So, got the UFO, uh, fork guards, front fender, stock, um, side fender, um, stock, blue plastics, and blue gas tank. Um, but anyway, the upgrades I might get for this thing is a clear oversized tank. Um, maybe, not right now, but sprockets, FMF. Um, and I'm going to try to get all white plastics. Um. So, yeah, it's got fatty bars, aftermarket fat bars, I don't know, I, I know what that says, do a uh, tag metals or whatever, if you guys know that company or whatever, let me, let me know, that car scared me, um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's got breather hose, Obviously, um, I mean, that's about it. I'm also going to get 
hand guards. Um, so yeah, so this is a really great bike. Um, to this, to the 125, um, I just, 